Hi everyone, North Texas Prepper here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome myself back. Took a little break from making videos. Uh, what you'll find about me is this. I'm not going to make videos just to make videos. You know, there's people out there every day that make two, three, and not bad mouthing them, not putting them down. Some people do this for a living. I don't do it for a living. Uh, I don't monetize my videos. I never plan to monetize my videos. And, uh, but I'm not going to make a video just to make a video. You know, I want to be able to have something to say. Uh, I'm not going to jump on every little bandwagon or every, every single little, uh, news article or whatever that comes up. But I want to show you something over here. If you can see in the background over there, you probably see, uh, flashing lights. There's, uh, fire truck over there probably a police car that's a four-way intersection four-way stop there's a high school right over here and there's an elementary school over here and this is Burtner Park and I don't know why some people have licenses or how they get them but a simple little thing like a four-way stop that people just don't get or they're so distracted by their phones that they that they don't see the dang stop signs if you knew how many accidents happened every year at this intersection here you wouldn't believe it I would say weekly weekly I've been walking this park walking my dogs and I've literally seen people run the stop signs because they're not paying attention it's only 30 miles an hour of course, most people are going 35 to 45, but it's only a 30 mile an hour zone. And people run the stop signs down here like you wouldn't believe. But the amount of accidents is just unbelievable that are over here. But also, on this corner yesterday, with everything that's going on in our world, uh, with the George Floyd killing, uh, uh, very, very disturbing sorrowful I, I can't even come up with the words to say if anybody's watched the video uh, any red-blooded American or red-blooded person in the world uh, just uh, just disturbing to the core what happened there and uh, we pray for justice for George Floyd and his family that his death was not in vain but uh, there goes a wrecker, I, or, oh no, that's an 18-wheeler. I thought I'd seen a wrecker over there, but who knows? Maybe that guy was involved in the accident. I don't know. Anyway, uh, not to get off on that subject, but over on that corner yesterday were people having a peaceful protest. I live in a what we call a bedroom community, easy for me to say, a bedroom community in Richardson. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's a suburb, but it's not... Most of the homes around here were built in the 70s and 80s. Uh, but they had a peaceful protest. And there was probably 200 or 300 people over here yesterday at, at any given time uh, from mid-afternoon to late afternoon. I don't know when it started and I don't know when it ended. Uh, but we pray that that's the way it could be all over uh, the United States right now or wherever they're having protests with this. But it's not. You have these people that are integrating into the peaceful protest and, and making it a bad thing and, and disgracing and taking away from the respect of the George Floyd situation, the death of George Floyd. I, I don't mean to minimize it at all. Uh, however you feel about it, to me, uh, being a Christian and uh, just love it on people there's only one race and that's the human race and I don't see color in people at all at all and uh, you have good people you have bad people you have people that are caught up in things right now that hopefully at the end of their life they're not going to be caught up in uh, hopefully they come to Christ hopefully they uh, get their sins forgiven we're not all perfect. I didn't have a perfect upbringing or a perfect uh, young adulthood, and pff, even into adulthood. Uh, but you know, you just have to pray for them, and you don't have to. Uh, you have to 
hate the sin and not the sinner. That's the way you need to look at it. Come here, Mia. Let me un... See, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's been laying down and itching her back, and she gets all tangled up. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody, you know, I don't know what your situation ended up being with the COVID. Uh, uh, everyone in my family has been healthy. Uh, everybody that I work with, it hasn't hit anybody that way. Uh I know one person that is in my hometown that is a daughter of a uh, best friend that I grew up with who did become positive. I think she's fine right now. She's younger, uh, like mid-20s or something, I believe. So, but it's still out there, right? And But a lot of people, and I'm going to tell you what, even including myself, I'm just over it. Uh, I'm still being careful. Uh, I'm going into public places. I wear a mask. I do. I'm sorry. I'm not not going to. I'm not really doing it for myself as much as I'm doing it for the people that are working there. And, uh, you know, just out of respect for them being there and working and doing their jobs, I want them to feel comfortable. So, that's the reason why. Uh, do I like doing it? No, I don't like doing it, but... You know what? No shame in my game at all. I am I don't regret it. <sighs> Since I think you got to do what's best for you. And anybody that's watching this channel, I think that you're probably concerned about what's going on in the world and you're and you're probably hopefully a person that is preparing cuz here's something that I truly believe. I don't think it's all about preparing but it's more about being right being right with God because you can be prepared as you want but if you're not if you're not right with God then it doesn't matter but do both there's plenty of instances in biblical passages of biblical people uh, preparing and getting ready for hard times and putting back uh, food stores so be prepared. I think that we are on the cusp of something big, and this is just the beginning of it. Uh, there's a lot more to come. And, you know, people saying, oh, Christ is coming soon. Well, I believe we're in the end of times, but there's a lot of things. If you study your Bible and read your Bible, there's a lot of things that has to happen first. There's still a lot of prophecy has been being fulfilled, but there's a lot more... Uh, biblical prophecy that has to be fulfilled before Christ returns. So uh, get in there and dig in deep and figure it out. Uh, but be safe and enjoy your life. Be happy. Get out in the beautiful weather. Get outside. Uh, and, you know, respect others. Respect your fellow man, your fellow woman, however you want to put it. And uh, just love on each other. And you can't go wrong that way. So Anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch base with you let you know I'm still out here. I don't make videos just to make videos. Uh, I just, I don't have the time. And, uh, but I want to, I want to touch base and let you know what's going on. And Mia's taking a break. She's very good when I'm making videos in the park. She'll, she'll sit down, she'll lay down, she'll wait for me. Anyway, guys, uh, love you. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Give me some comments. Let me know what's going on in your area or with yourself. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Fired up.